Hey, hey, y'all. Here we are today about to do um, a fun project. This one is designed for kids because it's very simple drawing, but we have seen that this is fun for all ages. We, uh, um, things that just have a kid's label on it is really fun for big kids too. So this is something you can um, grab a piece of paper and draw along with us. You can do it if you've got any kids or grandkids in your life. After you learn how to do it, you can do it with them. If you are... Um, at home right now and got kids that you can pull up to the table and have a little mini art lesson, you can do that. We're going to be having fun showing you this uh, very step by step. So if you don't know us, if you're not familiar with us, I'm Casey from Pizzazz Art Studio. We do art classes um, in studio and online uh, for kids and for adults. So this is a kid's picture. I am using watercolor paper. Now, I always encourage you to use whatever you've got. So don't feel like you are limited just to what I'm using because we, like I'm going to be using watercolor paper and watercolor pencils. You could totally do this with copy paper and crayons, or you could get a cute canvas, uh, draw this on a canvas and do it with acrylic paint. So you could use whatever supplies you've got and you can totally do this. I am going to be using watercolor paper. I'm going to show you, this is the brand of watercolor paper that I use a whole lot. Love it. Kids and adults. I love it for all ages. I don't buy a different grade paper for students. Um, versus adults. This is just a good one. It's not super expensive because it comes in a pack of 50. So I'm sorry, not 50, 30. This comes in a pack of 30. So there's, it shows you right there. It's got 30 sheets. They're nine by 12. And right here, that number right there is going to tell you kind of the weight of this, the thickness of it. Um, and to me, that is what determines a good watercolor paper or not. Sometimes it's 90 um, and it's just a little bit more flimsy. So I like this. Um, you can get it at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, all over. Very easy access um, and easy to use. So I'm going to be using my watercolor paper anytime that I'm using watercolors or in this case watercolor pencils if, if I'm putting water on this paper I want to use a watercolor pad so I'm using this I'm gonna be using the Crayola watercolor pencils now if you have never used watercolor pencils before I think you are going to be in love because they are just fun they're really fun you can um, take things really simple or you can be really fancy with it. So it's really fun for all levels. Great little thing to buy um, for the whole household. Kids all the way up to adults love, uh, love these watercolor pencils. Also, I've got a permanent uh, black marker. It could be a Sharpie. This is the Crayola Take Note. Um, anything that's permanent. So we do want something, a permanent marker, because that's going to be for all of our outlines. I've got a pencil and an eraser. And then right here off camera, I've got a cup of water and a paintbrush. And I've just got like a little uh, a round, this is a size six, that's not a half to, but a round size six for, um, for, uh, for our painting. So y'all ready to get rolling? Here we go. Hey y'all, I see lots of people tuning in from all over the place, from Canada, Alabama, Mississippi. I love it, love it, love it. Isn't it so fun? I always think it's so fun how um, the power of Facebook and the internet can connect us all no matter where we are, um, whether we're at work or at home or whatever. So I'm just going to create right here in this pad, okay? That way I am, um, I've got a little cushion up underneath. All right, so here's the pad. I'm going to draw first. So, uh -oh, our lights are blinking. So, um, not our main lights, but just our <laughs> just the one light that's on this little area right here. Um, if it blinks out, it'll be a okay. All right, so let's look at this one shape at a time. We are going to put this top of this little cute acorn on first. We're using a pencil. We're not going to press down hard. Um, so it's going to be kind of a curve. It almost looks like a kidney bean shape or something. So it's kind of curves over, comes up slightly, and then down. All right. So here we go. One tip, if you are ever doing this with kids and they can't quite get that shape because it's not a traditional circle or square, one tip you can do is you can take an eraser and you can draw it for them. Heck, this is not just a kid tip. This is an adult tip too, okay? Because you might be nervous about drawing it. You take your eraser. You draw it with your eraser first. If you don't like something, just redo it. Wait until you get the shape you like. Can y'all even see that? It's very vague, but it's just your eraser. And then have the kid take your pencil or you, like I'm doing here, take your pencil and lightly trace the eraser shape that you just did. Okay, isn't that a fun little tip? 
Um, we like to give you tips that you can apply to lots of different art, and that is one of them. Uh, when drawing with kids or when drawing a new shape that you're not quite familiar with, grab that eraser, draw with the eraser first, and then lightly trace over it. All right, now I can wipe all that eraser stuff away. And I've got my shape. It's very light right now, I know. Now I'm going to put the stem on. So it's just going to be like a line and then curve, curve. And now I'm going to do the bottom of our acorn. I'll come and I'll trace this a little bit darker so y'all can see it. I, I know that my eyes are going to go over this. So I don't want to go too dark um, because I don't want, uh, I don't want to have to have a lot of eraser lines there. So now I'm going to come to the side. I'm going to come down like this. Okay. So we're going to make this almost like a little cute little, cute little face shape. It's part of a, it's part of the acorn, but it's a cute little face shape too. So it comes down, then right over here, we're going to also come down. All right. <clears throat> I'm looking at this. This is a little bit bigger than my original one, but it's going to be okay. I'm not going to stress too much about it. If I wanted to make it smaller, I can just kind of come up like this just a little bit and erase it, but either way is a-okay. All right, so once you've got your shape like you like it, we're gonna go ahead and put those fun little cute facial features in. So you don't have to do the eyes like this. There's a ton of different ways to do the eyes. You do plain circles. You could do just the, the little curves that make it look like it's like smiling, like squinty eyes. This is just a style of eye that I like to do. Notice that I am extending it to where it comes even above. It's like oversized, okay? So it's not just staying down here. I took it to where it's up, up into the top of the acorn as well. So to do these eyes, I do a curve and a curve. Then I do a big curve big curve that one's a little bit that one's a little bigger so let me erase it i do want my eyes to be as symmetrical as i can get them they might not be exactly symmetrical but i want to if i can notice right off the bat that they're not i want to try to fix it now that line <clears throat> that's going through it let's go ahead and erase that so that we can do our eyes <clears throat> and then from here you are going to do Curve, <clears throat> curve, circle. Curve, curve, circle. Hey, Shelly, you are always, you've always got such fun things that you're doing. Shelly says, thanks for darkening that. Again, I'm outside on a field trip, so I can't see well on this itty bitty phone screen. You always have, have fun little um, field trips and excursions. All right, so now. I've done the line, line, circle. So now I'm going to, in this, uh, the black part where it would be black, I'm just going to shade it in. And the reason I do that is because I just look weird without a little bit of that weight there. And so while, before I put my, before I put my Sharpie on, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. So Shelly, as you're out on a field trip, you never know. There might be a kid that is not uh, not into whatever the field trip is, and you could you could have a little art lesson with them. They can come on over and <laughs> grab a napkin and draw a fun little acorn. You never know. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and do my smile with my curves at the top, and then some circles for the cheeks. Those are all just little details that I think make it extra cute. Hey, y'all. I love that more of y'all are putting in where you're from. We see Minnesota and Vicki in Tennessee. <clears throat> we got, I think, Connecticut. Donna, is that Connecticut? CT, is that Connecticut? CT? I think it is. Okay. All right. <laughs> Pop quiz on <laughs> state abbreviations. Um, all right. So now if you want to add your eyelashes, um, you don't have to. I like that, though. But right, So I'm going to start here and curve out and then curve, curve. And start here, curve out, curve, curve. Maybe erase that right there. And there we have our super cute, um, super cute uh, acorn. I'm going to do some of these cross lines in the top, but they're not going to be solid. And what I mean by that is like they don't have to go from the top all the way down. They can just kind of be in the shape in general. See how it's not necessarily touching the eye. It's just kind of there. Yay, more of y'all are starting to put it in. So we got Virginia and Texas and West Virginia um, and Prattville and Texas. Awesome. All right, so Prattville is where we are located. Uh, we are in Alabama. So now I'm coming back over this. 
just like this. Now you could be done there. That could be it before we start um, before we start doing all of the uh, the coloring. But if you want to add in leaves and kind of berry type things in the background, um, you can do that too. So we are about to do that if you want to. Okay, again, you can stop here and just start outlining with your um, with your sharpie or with your um, black take note marker, or you can um, you can do the the leaves. So for the leaves, first we're going to just do some lines. And the lines are going to show me kind of where I want my leaves. So I want these four leaves on the edges. Then I'm going to have the little lines coming up like this that are going to be inside of the leaves. This is kind of like my guideline. Okay, can y'all see that? They look like twigs right now. And honestly, they, they could stay like twigs. That, that's part of, you know, fallish looking too. So you could keep them as twigs. You can also, though, take this outline and come on and just go like this. You're, <clears throat> you're just coming around them and kind of with a shaky hand. And then it creates that leaf shape. All right. So we're going to come do it again. We're just kind of going around those lines with a little bit of a shaky hand, leaving the stem, and then we've got that leaf shape. Okay, next up, if you wanna throw in some berries just in some of the places, the way that we do these, we're gonna do like a tall uh, line with two little ones that come off, and those are gonna be our bigger circles and then you can do two little ones on either side okay just like a little cluster of berries <clears throat> all right so i'm seeing more of y'all new york colorado california georgia so fun shelly says love that tip for the leaves lots easier yeah it, it, that's you, i'm always looking for the easiest way especially when you're teaching kids or working with kids like you want to think like what can they relate to and the shape around the leaf is like hard to even think, even for me. But if I start with those lines on the inside and then kind of going around it, it makes it a whole lot better. So here are my three lines with my circles. Then I'll do my two little lines and little circles. And just this is just wherever you have room. If you, you may not have room, you may have drawn your acorn so big that you don't have room. And that's totally fine. Once you get everything like you like it, then it's time to grab that permanent marker and we are going to start outlining. Also, as I'm outlining, let me remind you that we have another really fun tutorial. Um, it's a canvas painting for fall. It's a cute pumpkin. Again, designed for kids, but fun for adults too. Um, and that is at doodlealong.com. So if you go to doodlealong.com, it'll ask for your email, you'll put your email in, and then it will give you um, give you access to that video. It's completely free, no cost, really fun. We have seen people already um, using it in groups, you know, so they, they'll, I've seen people uh, say, hey, so-and-so, do you want to get together and do this with the kids? And it's really, um, it's just a fun video that it gives you all the supplies that you need, like as far as the list of it. And um, you hit play and then let me teach. It's just a fun little fall something, something. We've seen, we've seen parents and kids do it. We've seen grandparents and kids do it. Friends, homeschoolers, like doing it for part of their art curriculum. So lots of different, um, lots of different uses for that video also. So doodlealong.com is that. If you've got any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments as we are just doing our outline. This is going to take just a bit, not too long, but it takes a bit. Again, on these little cross hatches, I'm not, I'm just doing it kind of quick. I'm not trying to connect everything from like one line to the other. They're just kind of inside of here. I don't want it to feel too rigid. All right, so there's my acorn. Then if you have your other, um, your other little details on the edge, you can also outline those. If you didn't do details on the edge, you can go ahead and grab your eraser and just start erasing any pencil lines that might still be showing. That's what we're going to do after this. 
just because there's a lot. I don't, whenever you are using your Sharpie and you're going back and kind of outlining the pencil lines, you are not trying to be exactly on the pencil line. That will drive you crazy. You are just using that pencil line as a guideline to kind of know where to go. Also, y'all can be thinking, if you know any kids that love doing art, y'all know we have our kids club where we teach um, all kinds of things. We teach a new artist every month. We, um, we teach different skills to different levels inside the kids club, and it's all online. Um, coming very soon, we are going to be releasing Kids Club Plus. If you are already a Kids Club member, y'all are going to get first dibs at Kids Club Plus. We only have a limited amount that we're going to be able to sell. Um, and then after that, we will be opening it to the public. Um, and Kids Club Plus, it's our online lessons plus a little extra. And so if what's going to be going to happen is um, we it's going to all kick off in January. So you can pre-buy it for Christmas before, before Christmas gets here. We will start rolling it out um, later this month to our current members and then in November to everybody else. Um, but it's not going to actually start until um, January so that you can gift it to somebody and they're going to get something in the mail every single month. So it won't be all of the supplies that we use. We're going to give you a supply list of our basic supplies that we use. But inside the Kids Club Plus, we are going to all of our instruction sheets. Um, we're going to send those. We're going to send a I did it checklist. We're going to send the artist poster. We are going to um, send a fun little sticker plus one kind of pizzazzy zazz uh, product a, with a bonus lesson that goes with that pizzazzy zazz product. So, um, some of the things could be like switcheroos or cool watercolor paints or marbling inks, like all kinds. There's so many neat, like cool, pizzazzy, neato uh, products that are not your everyday that you can find. Um, and so every single month, the kids who are in Kids Club Plus uh, will have not only the access to all of our lessons, but also the fun stuff that they get in the mail. They can be excited about. They can hang that I did it checklist on the, on the fridge. Um, they can have the physical copy of the instructions just in case they're not near a um near a computer so it's going to be really really fun so just store that in your memory um uh, if you know somebody that would love it because it's going to make great uh great christmas gifts as well all right <laughs> barbara that's so funny barbara says um you teach us so much thanks for the links i've been doing backwards forever <laughs> i love this group okay barbara it's not necessarily backwards it's just you can do it however it works for you. Um, just my brain is always looking for like, what's the easiest way to do this? <laughs> so, um, so to me, that's the easiest way. All right. So we are going to actually have already pulled some of these out, some of these colors. So with our watercolor pencils, I'll try to kind of put them both right here. Um, I'm going to just going to start laying them on so that you can see. So around the edge, <clears throat> I'm just going to color. It's not going to be super dark. I'm making sure this is the brown that I used earlier. I'm pretty sure it is. We are not, with watercolor pencils, you don't have to fill everything in, okay? Because once you add the water, it kind of, it turns into that watercolor and you can spread it. But I do want the edges to be a little bit darker than everything else. Then on the, well, a little bit right here. Then on the kind of the crosshatch area, we'll do a little bit darker there as well. I see a lot of y'all that are on um, on here are lettering club members. Uh, let me just tell you, we just shipped out Happy Mail, so some of you will be getting it very soon. We try to, we always promise to give, um, to deliver that around the, um, around the 15th of each month. So this gives us about a week um, to make good on that. And, uh, but those of you who live a little bit closer to the studio will probably get it even, even sooner than a week. So y'all be looking in that mail for that. All right. So we've done the brown, just kind of, I did more than just one, um, one swipe with my watercolor pencil, but, um, but I didn't color the whole thing solid. 
Now I'm going to come down here and I want this to be a slightly different color. So I'm going to mix um, uh, orange and brown on this. <clears throat> uh, I see you're saying excited to hear about Kids Close Plus. It's coming. Any idea of the additional cost for current members? Yes, it's going to be um, an additional $20 um, that will cover the, the product, the printing, and the shipping. So it is an extra $20, but I will also say this. Like if you're doing the digital and then you do the, the Kids Club Plus for a bit, at any point, if you'd rather go back to just the digital, you can too. I don't really think you will because it's going to be really fun for the kids to uh, kids to open it. But there's no, um, th you know, there's no hard and fast commitment on that um, if you uh, just upgrade to that. But we're also, another fun thing that we're going to do that we don't normally do is we're going to have um, bundles for the kids club, not that like to the current members, we're going to give you that option to upgrade, but then to, um, to people, if you're not already a member and you're wanting to just get this for a grandkid or um, somebody as a gift or a child as a gift, you're going to be able to just go ahead instead of doing it like a membership, just prepay for three months so that they get three months access. Um, and then if they want to continue after that, then they can. So those gift subscriptions um, are going to be coming too. So you can either buy a three month or six month uh, chunks. All right, so uh, here I am. I'm just going to, again, I'm just doing a little, this light pressure of the orange all around. Another thing that I will tell you about the um, <clears throat> the Kids Club Plus, we're going to send these really cute binders out so that um, every month when you're getting your um, your artist poster and your uh, your checklist and your, your instructions sheet, you're going to be able to, um, we're going to have holes poked in them so that you can add them to that binder so that at the end of, you know, three or four months, you're going to be like, have a whole portfolio of the artists that you've studied, the, um, the projects that we've done. If you uh, want to keep a little uh, clear sleeve and put your art in there for the pieces that will fit. I know sometimes they're a little bit bigger. Uh, you will, uh, you know, give you those clear sleeves that you can put some of your art and to kind of create that portfolio. And honestly, that is super encouraging when kids are able to look back. Um, sometimes when you're creating one and create one, not even kids, adults too, when you're just creating Sometimes you don't realize how much you do. Even here at the studio, sometimes we will, um, I've heard Haley before say, when we're looking back through our files of like different videos we've done and stuff, she's like, I can't believe we've done so much. I'm like, I know when you're just doing it every week, it feels like just a little bit. But when you look at it as a collective body of work, um, it's, it's a lot. And so I think, um, I think that's going to be really fun for kids to be able to have that portfolio and parents, parents who are trying to keep things all in one little place instead of all over the place. Uh, I think it's going to be really exciting. So that is a common, is a common. <clears throat> Oh, I love this. Yes, I know. I, kids Club is not just for kids. <laughs> she, says, she says, I'm a Kids Club member. I love the piece and play um, of sketching. And then I give the sketches to nieces so they can enjoy some playful coloring. That's awesome. I love it. You are not the only adult in the Kids Club. No, feel. there's a lot, actually. And it's pretty fun. All right. <clears throat> So we have gone over with our orange. So I, I want to two-tone it. So I'm going to do the, um, the orange and a little bit of the brown. I'm not going to be pressing down too terribly hard with the brown, but I just want to give it a little bit more of a um, of that fall tone instead of like a bright orange. So I'm just going to kind of lightly go over it with this brown. Alrighty. Let me see. This is, I'm going to just read what she says. It's funny how the brain works. I look for easy too. And last night I was watching the butterfly lesson. You have no idea how enlightening it was to hear you say that you make the F like a C. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. I have been trying to curve it for a year and girl, <laughs> did my brain, <laughs> um, did my brain was excited last night. I love that. Yes. It's that if you can connect what you're doing to something you already know, your brain gets it. So that's exactly what you're saying. Like when you're trying to just make an F with a curve and you don't know how, um, and she's referring to our lettering in the lettering club. When you're just trying to um, make a curve that you've never done before, it feels hard. But when you can connect it to something you've already done a million times, your brain says, oh yeah, I know how to do that. I know how to do a C. Um, so very cool. All right. So now I'm just getting a little bit of this magenta, just doing a little bit, not pressing down super hard just a bit. I've also got, let's see, what is this? The green blue. 
that I'm going to add just a bit here. And then y'all, I'm going to go ahead and show you, even though I haven't done the background yet, I want to show you, because some of you might not have done the background, um, how we are going to turn our watercolor pencil into watercolor. It's so fun. So <clears throat> I've got my, um, I've got my water and I've got my brush. Here we go. I'm not going to take it and color all of this. I like to leave a little bit of white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just kind of on the edge, loosening this up. Get a little more water. And then I'm going to kind of trace these. But I don't want the inside to be completely like completely blank, blank, blank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after I trace my watercolor pencil here, I'm going to also come back with it and kind of right inside here, just loosen it up a little bit, not fill it in completely because uh, I like there to be like a light, a medium and a dark, but just a little bit, kind of fill it in with just that water and what's left um, from the brown watercolor pencils. Now, you may see sometimes like this looks a little bit darker than this. The reasoning for that is I probably just press down a little bit harder over here. Okay, so the harder you press with something, the, it's, the darker it's going to be. The more times you go over it, the darker it's going to be because you have put kind of more of that, um, more of the watercolor pencil down. Okay, now here I'm going to go around the edge first. Looks like I might should have put a little more brown in there, but it's okay. I'm going to jump around that circle. Right up here. Be very careful with that pink right now. I'm just working with my orange, so I don't want to get into the pink, um, into the pink cheeks. All right. So now I'm going to kind of go back over this. And just with my plain water, pull it to the center. And it's going to naturally just be a lot lighter because it's farther away from, um, from that watercolor pencil. So right over here, I'll do the same thing. So this is part of why we didn't lay the pencil down everywhere. We didn't want it to be the same tone everywhere. We want it to be lighter on the edges. I mean, I'm sorry, darker on the edges, lighter in the middle. So that's why we kind of just put that around those edges. All right, so now I'm going to do a little bit here and here. Then I'll clean that brush and a little bit up here. All right, and there is that. So if you're stopping there, that's all you got to do. If you want to go into the uh, the background, I'll show you that as well. Um, but be sure, y'all, if you um, are doing this, I love to see it. So feel free to post it right here on this post. Um, feel free to share this with people you uh, think might enjoy it. It makes us happy to see that people are actually using our lessons. So um, so feel free to uh, to post and to share. Now, for these leaves, if you're doing the leaves in the background, I'm just going to take a yellow. I am going to kind of put it all over the place, but because I know that the water is going to kind of spread it out, I do not have to do it solid. Okay, I'm almost just scribbling inside here. Just a little scribble inside of all this. What I'm going to um, come back on top of it with either some orange or some red kind of on the edges uh, to give it that fall look. So let's see, this is kind of an orangey red. It's called red orange. <clears throat> all right. All right, and then we're just going to kind of put some of this around the edges. Yes, Shelly. Shelly says she loves this. Um, she can color a lot better than she can paint. Going to have to try these. And isn't it fun that they're Crayola? So you can really find them um, anywhere, just about anywhere, usually. <clears throat> so, yeah, you, you definitely feel like you have a lot more control with, um, with watercolor pencils than with just a paintbrush. So what I'm doing, I'm not pressing down hard and I'm just kind of coming around the edges. I'm not covering my, um, let me scoot that over. I'm not covering my yellow, like all of it. I'm just putting this just a little bit around those edges. And then also with this, um, with this red before I go to my water, 
I'm going to also just kind of fill in these berries and they don't always have to be red. I'm just going to, I'm going to for time's sake. All right. So All right, grab me a, um, <clears throat> uh, Shelly says, can you layer the colors before you, oh yeah, yeah, okay, yes, I answered, I gotcha. <laughs> yes, layer the, you do want to layer the colors before, after you add the water, it's a little too wet to go back into it immediately. Um, so that this is the bit, the way that I like to use it. Some people will dip these into water and, uh, and use it too. Um, but this is the way that I personally like to use it best. All right, so you see how I did yellow, and then I did some of the orange. I'm going to try to pull this a little closer. Lisa is saying, is there a way to go back and rewatch this? Yes. As soon as we're done, this is going to be posted on our page that you can watch from beginning to end. So no worries with that. <clears throat> All right. You will find a plethora of videos if you just click our video tab. Right now, this is being streamed on our Facebook page and on YouTube. Um, both of those places have a lot of videos um, for kids and adults that you can uh, that you can just have fun with. All right, so I'm kind of touching the yellow first, and then I go to that red-orange that's on the edge, and it just all blends together. So my leaves are done. Now I'm going to come in with my red. Just kind of adding just a touch of water, loosening that up. And then I've got my super cute fall acorn. <laughs> so um, that is it for today, y'all. And yes, feel free to go back and rewatch after we're done with this. If you want to, if you just caught the tail end of it, um, it's just a fun drawing. Again, we were using Crayola watercolor pencils and our watercolor paper. Um, we love showing you uh, fun ways to add peace and play into your everyday. So I um, hope this is just one of them. Be sure to post it if you, um, if you, uh, or, or if you do it, <laughs> post it. Also, if you want to get on our text list and get texts of when we're going live, um, all you have to do is shoot us a text, um, to one, three, three, four, two, four, nine, 1818. Um, let me see if I've got that somewhere that I can pull it up. Mm, no, I don't. If you can't remember that, if you're driving and you can't remember it, I will tell you, you can go to, um, textcasey.com and uh, it says VIP list. That's just our like our people that we let you know what's happening. Uh, Textcasey.com, and then it will take you immediately to the phone uh, message, and then you will uh, can follow the prompts from there. Um, and you can get on our text list so that you will know about all the fun stuff that we're doing. So uh, that is it for today. Um, get on that text list if you want to. Head to doodlealong.com if you want another fun free video, and be sure to post your pictures. All right, y'all. See ya. See ya.